Hey guys, it's Sean Sue. Welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I see so many YouTube videos and like TikToks and stuff like that on the internet where people use purple shampoo and tone their hair and then it goes from like orangey to like more silvery. Their hair just looks so much better. And every time I go to the store, I see it. It's really expensive and I don't have money to just throw around at whatever I want. So, um, yeah. So as you saw by the title and the thumbnail, today I'm gonna be taking my own shampoo, mixing it with food coloring and making my own purple shampoo. And I thought I would film it for entertainment just in case it goes wrong or if it goes really good, then you guys could try it too. So we'll see. And yeah. So I'm going to change into something that I don't care about. This way I care about a lot. So I'm not trying to get this co covered in food coloring. So yeah. And then I'll see you guys in the washroom when I change my clothes and I got everything ready. I don't know why I look so pink on camera. Okay. So right now my hair is so messy. So I need to brush it first. Also, I think I'm, instead of using shampoo, I think I'm gonna use conditioner because then my hair, because then my hair will get softer and um, because it's conditioner, but with shampoo, nothing's gonna happen. So I'm just gonna do shampoo, I mean, I'm just gonna do conditioner instead. This is Jim's daughter. Oh my God. So I have a bowl and I have conditioner and I have the food coloring and I have a spoon. So I'm just gonna put the conditioner into the bowl and then, yeah. So I'm using the neon one because they didn't have the normal food coloring colors at Walmart. So I'm just gonna be using the purple one that they have here. I think I might add a little bit of blue if it's too pink. Oh, by the way, the conditioner I'm using is a L'Oreal Total Repair 5 Rapid Reviver Daily Conditioner Two Times More Repair Damaged Hair, that thing. I think this might be a little too purple. If I accidentally end up dyeing my hair purple, I won't be complaining if it's this kind of purple because that's not that bad. Do you guys see that? It's like, it's like chunky. There's like spots of purple that haven't mixed in properly. I don't know why. It looks a lot lighter on camera than in person. I'm gonna take out my earrings because I don't want them to get dyed. I don't think they're gonna get dyed, but they're just gonna be in the way. I'm just gonna plop that right on. That looks disgusting. I'm just gonna speed through the rest of it because I wanna watch my show. Is it just me or does my hair kind of look brown? See, this is why sometimes I wanna dye my hair back brown and not have any blonde. So I put it all in my hair, but I like the color it is right now, but I know it's not gonna stay like this after I wash it out. I'm just gonna put it up and put my hair in a bag. Oh my God. I don't know how long I'm gonna wait yet, but I'll let you guys know when I come back. So yeah, I'll see you guys after. Hey guys, so it's been two hours. My hair looks pretty purple and I'm kind of scared because I think I just dyed my hair purple. So I'm gonna wash my hair. Hey guys, so I just got out of the shower and my hair is all wet so, so I can't even tell if it worked or not. When I look in the mirror, my hair kind of looks the same, but I'll come back tomorrow and I'll show you guys when it's dry because I don't want to blow dry my hair because it's gonna go like, and I don't want that. So see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so it's been a few days. It's been like two days, I think, something like that. My hair is dry and as you can see, it's still blonde. This side looks kind of more red, not red, what? It's like pinkish, but you can't really tell. Okay, I need to brush my hair so you guys can see better. Yeah, but you can't really tell. Like it's very subtle and you can only see it 
in person but clearly it's not like any less brassy toned if you know what i mean something that this did though that was really good um keeping in the conditioner for two hours really made it a lot softer and it smells so good like my hair smells so good like it's been a few days and it still smells i definitely want to keep putting in conditioner for like two hours to make it really soft because that made a big difference but it's still dead at the end and i can't wait till my hair grows out so then i could just cut it all off because i don't like how it looks anymore i just want this to be back or maybe i might dye my hair like a light brown at the ends i don't know so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you stay till the end i love you thank you so much if you stay to the end then i guess you guys like watching my videos so go hit the subscribe button down below um and while you're at it go follow me on instagram which will be up on the screen and also in the description if you subscribe then i'll see you guys next week with a new video bye